Hi, everybody. Um, I know it's a bummer that we couldn't meet in person at GDC, and I really hope y'all are staying safe. I just had a few quick updates that I wanted to share with you about the Firebase Games SDKs. Somewhere underneath the Unity layer are Gradle and CocoaPod packages for Android and iOS. And the way we manage these is with a tool called the Play Services Resolver. But this is a little confusing, as it doesn't actually have anything to do with you know, Google Play services. In fact, plenty of companies outside of Google use this to manage native dependencies with Unity. So we decided to rename this to the Extended Dependency Manager for Unity, or EDM for you. You may be wondering if we did this so we can make, you know, drop the bass calls and our, or drop the bass calls and conference calls, and that was definitely not the reason. A downside with the current version of the Firebase Unity SDK, and really anything using uh, EDM for you, is that transitive dependencies in Unity are not handled super well. Firebase actually just stops a bunch of uh, code files. It's okay because, you know, Firebase controls the Firebase plugin. But Unity has been dealing with this sort of issue and others for a while, and has been rolling out the Unity Package Manager to uh, make handling and updating packages easy, at least for Unity. But as of Unity 2018.4, which I know is a little old by now, they started allowing third-party package repositories in the Unity Package Manager. And as of the uh, latest version of EDM for you, if you're using Unity 2018.4, this dialog box will pop up asking to add you know, the Google repository or any other third-party repository to the Unity Package Manager, making it just as easy to manage these packages as um, native ones in Unity. You know, you can just go right here, click update, and uh, just make sure that all of your Firebase packages are up to the date, up to date at the latest version, or any other uh, package using EDM for you and uh, supporting the Unity Package Manager. And as a final note, this is all completely optional. If you're like me, package managers sometimes make me a little nervous, even though they really make my life easier in the long run. So if I'm a little skittish about this, I can opt to just use Firebase the way I always have. Just click no to that dialog box and everything will keep working. So we're excited to have you give this a try. And uh, to find out more about this and you know all our other game news, check out firebase.google.com slash games. I'm Patrick Martin. Thanks for watching. And I can't wait to see what y'all make.